Now this did this to me the last time. I don't know why I keep getting a... My gear issue. Turn the engine on, or at least the APU first. I have a fancy little switch that I can do that with on my throttle. Yeah, my throttle control. I ended up uh, playing this or getting this game, a, I don't know, I guess last summer. And then I got a hold of... Uh, um... What do you call it? Logitech joystick and throttle. But what ended up happening was I got too, uh, I guess you could say I got too comfortable with it. And it caused me to, uh, I don't know what the best thing to say is. It caused me to get entirely too, uh, comfortable without because I didn't have rudder pedals so I got really good at flying with that and in the process it caused me once I got this new throttle joystick and uh, uh, rudder pedals I can fly fine it's when I come in to land and sometimes for that matter when I take off although I just figured something out that I didn't realize I had before so I will mess with that to um, another another part of oh when I go to when I go to take off. And by the way, I am not giving any tutorial here. This is something I've learned and I've done a number of times for starting this, so that's the only reason why I know what the heck I'm doing. Alright, gotta check my uh my gauges and stuff. Now we'll do the right engine. Gotta figure out what I'm doing there. All right. And it's going to get a little loud in here. So I am going to close the canopy. That's a little bit better. And now that we got those up and running... Let's get rid of our bleed air. And we need to do FCS, so there we go. And we're testing. My controls are good. All right. What else we got? All right, let's make sure we're set to take off. I 
make sure my lights are on. Put this in HUD. Nah, let's see what else we got. Oh, we gotta turn this eye on. What is my altimeter? I think it's twenty nine nine two. It should already be set. I think I need to reset this. Very frustrating. I don't know why that's not working now. All right. Flaps is set to half at the moment. See them where they're at. Set my tech ant. Gets 50. Let me look at my map. Nope, it's 54. That was my next guess. Uh, I should already have you set at that. All right, so my, I'm kind of good to go there. I am only doing touch and goes. Nose wheel steering is on. Let's turn it off. There it's off. Gone. All right. Check my fuel or my fuel probe. That is working. Hook down. That works. Launch bar. That works. And of course, I did this again. I started up without requesting it from the tower because I always forget to do that. Um, we'll sit back and just listen to that. Those seem to be working. Water. That's working. All right. So now that I've done my startup and stuff, I guess what we'll do is we'll call and ask for request a taxi to runway. Other than that, <clears throat> I had figured I'd throw this video out here for you guys. And see yeah, everything's going with my recording for one, and I figured I'm up to something a little different. Clear to taxi to six. Half one. All right, 
we're clear the taxi, so let's make sure that uh, our ground can. Well, well, I'm pretty sure we already have that done. All right, here we move. And you'll have to bear with me. I have these rudder pedals are a little bit new to me. And if you are watching this and laughing at me, that's perfectly fine. Because I'll tell you, never flown before. This is definitely something different. Uh, I used to have a Logitech set. Actually, it was SciTech before it was Logitech. I had that a, quite a while ago, like almost 10 years ago, but I ended up breaking the rudder pedals on it. And I really liked those, but I ended up throwing those things out and getting a new set of Logitech ones, the X56. And I knew that I had brick, broke the previous rudder pedals, so I decided, hey, I'll just use a joystick. Well, I flew that for about five months, and I got so used to it, it was ridiculous. So about a month and a half ago, I got rudder pedals, but I've been so doggone busy that I haven't been up to sitting down and actually flying. Flew a few times. I did a mission where I flew from Marianas on the Marianas map out to uh, a carrier. Tried landing on the carrier, which I had gotten pretty decent at in the past, but and I'll tell you right now, it's. Trying to get used to the rudder pedals. I didn't realize how much I was using them before. But I am using the crap out of them. So what I'm trying to do now is get used to having the pedals themselves. And retraining my brain to actually think how you're doing it. But I've been also noticing since I actually got a new, uh, oh, I got to arm my seat. Um, I needed, <clears throat> need to get better at, uh, flying with the new stick and throttle. So I ended up getting a win-win F-18 throttle and, and stick for my HOTAS. And really like it. I'm familiar with the stick because when I worked at another at a company that uh, we used to repair and do modifications and for the radar for the military on the F-18 I ended up uh, I got really comfortable with their stick so plus I worked with on the A team when I was in the Navy there's something I can honestly say that's kind of a little bit annoying is when I go if I go to radar screen here, you notice that it's not sweeping. Well, I'll tell you right now that unless this is a a non uh, or it's got if this should be one of the first two radars that they put in the F-18, and it's a motor, so why would it not work on the ground like it's sitting in boresight mode? So it should be sweeping, regardless of whether or not you're on the ground or not. But that's just me being probably entirely too technical. The other thing I notice is if you look right up here into the the operator or operate mode, and it's on uh, C11. Well, C11 is just referring to the channel, and there's more than one channel, so it should be hopping. I don't know if they're 
they're ever going to do anything with that, but that's something I noticed. Probably asked it a little too early, but oh well. So when I got these new rudder pedals, I was, and let me ex just explain that I was a few times that I tried taking off before I was trying to adjust with the rudder pedals, and. That did not go so well. I forgot that you had the ability to turn the nose wheel steering off. Nobody's coming in from either direction. So we're going to go. Get out here and line up with the center. Best we can. We're gonna turn off the nose wheel steering. Hold the brakes. Request takeoff. One, one. Request takeoff. Roger that. Here we go. Bottles up. And here we go. Climb to 3,000. Now this did this to me the last time. I don't know why I keep getting a... My gear issue. I do not know why I keep getting that. If I had a wingman, I could tell him to fly underneath and check if I got a problem there. That's going to be annoying. Light. So I don't know why those are on. Be getting that at the last couple of flights, so I'm kind of confused as to why. Thank you. 
That noise is driving me up the wall. really don't like it when the map's on. Let's do some gear down and see if there's something going on. I don't know if that... Nope. Yeah, I thought that might have fixed it, but... I was wrong. Oh, I wonder it has something to do with something else. Let me try something. Sorry, I am having issues with this thing. Well, I guess we're going to deal with that because it's pissing me off. Way too loud and I don't understand why. Something feels broken. So anyway, I'm all getting sidetracked with every all the sound going off inside the cockpit. 
and not talking to you guys, so... What have I been doing this last year? Well, like I said, I was goofing around with this, I was working. Uh, I haven't really done a lot with, uh... Whoop! Oh, I gotta pay attention when I'm flying here. Besides the fact of the beeping noise. I don't have anything set to... That's going to be telling me that I got, like issues going on with my plane and of course I can't do much with it so for right now we'll just deal with it huh boy this would be kind of cool now the only thing that's kind of weird is that I did play around with uh, well I didn't play around I was able and lucky enough to be able to get into uh, the F-18 sim uh, gosh probably that was a long time ago and uh which was in a dome and it was really cool which I would love to be able to kind of somewhat simulate on my own with a with a chair but most of those motion control ones I don't think would do the same effect as the uh, as what I was doing with or in the uh, actual sim In the sim, I was able to, uh, I was, I did like a barrel roll, or an ultimate, or aileron roll, and it was enough to make me sit there and go, okay, uh, yeah, that, that was very real. I wish I could focus on that better. Try it again. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but that's what I was fighting with before. So I apologize if you're getting all stressed out with me looking around. Let's see what happens if I drop the speed down and actually drop the gear again. Sometimes I wonder if this is one of those things where my gear even though it seems to be working with my switch but doesn't seem to be see when I start speeding up it doesn't like it I don't know. Let's 
help that I was falling. Welcome to the bit test. For some reason it wants to keep doing starting that so turn that off Well, you have to bear with me. Trying to get used to this again, and I have a lot of adjusting to do. Because I feel like I'm not sitting right in the cockpit. Now I'm too low. Not getting any bit calls, so that's why it's kind of confusing to me that I don't know what's going on here. Of course, it's probably some sort of setting I have that I haven't figured out yet. The only warning I have, and it's kind of annoying, my radar is working, so it's not a weight off wheels issue or weight on wheels issue. Guess we'll start dropping altitude. Since we're going to be uh, going in and trying to do a landing. So I don't even remember what the heck I was talking about. That beeping in my ears is just driving me up the wall. Well, if anybody that's uh, familiar with DCS and has hit run into this problem before, leave a comment and tell me what the heck I'm doing wrong, because obviously I'm doing something wrong. Probably a setting. So we're going to be landing just off that direction over there and I'm planning on doing some touch and goes may have to raise the seat up a little bit Thank you. 
Now this, that beeping noise is so annoying, it's hard to concentrate on anything else. I don't know. Something ain't right in the land of Oz. Let's go to half. Bring down the gear. Now I can actually concentrate a little bit. Get lined up. Now it's going to tell me altitude. How do you like them apples? The one thing I do know is that I want to stay in that E bracket as much as I possibly can right in the center. And typically, what I understand, we got it. We want to be doing it with. Uh, are when you're looking down at the stick the left button the castle i want to be messing with that right now i've got pretty good um uh, right in the center and i'm about where i want to be for the most part I'll tell you this much, this is probably the best I've done in a while. And not lying. Because, uh... I was not doing this well. Then again, I am also sitting at half flap, so... I may need to... I might just keep it at half and see how that works. Or I tried doing it when I was at full and I had a hard time keeping it where I wanted it to be. I guess the slower I get it closer to the ground I may have to adjust I'm just trying to keep the uh, my flight vector right directly on the runway You have to bear with me. I'm moving around on my seat in order to be able to uh, do most of my adjustments. Which will be, like I say, to be perfectly honest with you guys, I this is the first time that I've been able to fly this steady with these rudder pedals. And not that I'm using the rudder pedals at all. I'm, a little bit I'm shifting here and there, but... That. But... Most of it has to do with... Where I'm at. My, uh throttle because the throttle is going to keep your altitude so I'm messing a lot with the out with the throttle on that granted this is a lot easier right now 
see what happens if I go to radar. Hey, there we go. Might be a little low. I'm maintaining pretty good closure rate. You want to end a little bit more throttle though because I think my my descent is a little too much. Mind you, I'm not running any the flaps right now either, so The 18 doesn't flare too much when it comes in. Obviously, I didn't um, touch down that time. But that was actually a pretty good glide because I haven't done that before. I was actually pretty, pretty bad at that. I was all over the place. So this time when I get come back in, I'm going to try to attempt um, full flaps and see how that does, but I don't want to get too far down below, uh, um, about 3,000 pounds of fuel. We can parallel the runway. Climb up to about 3,000, which is not normal. If I was doing this at a base, it would definitely be, I'd be going to about uh, 800 feet. Then uh, do my, my turn, but... This is a sim, I'm not doing anything for real, so... I'm just trying to get the handle of it so I get a little better at this. Because I gotta get really good... I, as far as I'm concerned, the best I can do is... Or I do uh, land traps, or landings. And try to do them on a carrier because uh, I got pretty good without rudders, but I think I started messing with the rudders too much and not getting comfortable with the stick and throttle maneuvers. Oh, I'm not paying attention. I still got to learn ILS and whatnot. But I have been trying to pay a lot more attention to what's going on inside the cockpit than what's going on outside of the cockpit. Um, but I do need to have my situational awareness outside too. I might have enough turn here. Let's try this.
Oh, that wasn't the greatest turn. Did give it too much throttle. Uh, sir. Turning a little bit more. Alright, so we're still doing half flap. I'm going to get a little more throttle. Drop the full flap. Pull back on the throttles. Because I'm going to have a lot more lift. Alright. Lined up. Not quite straight, but I want to hit right there. Let's do one more round. If I can just get up to about 600 feet. Now it's going to probably change. Well, it will change when I go up over the water. Trying to parallel the runway. Like I said, I don't want to go below 3,000 pounds because not that I have any problems, but you never know. You gotta leave yourself an out, and I'm really not up for losing a 35 or or aircraft. I know it's just digital, but let's be real. You gotta be sim sometime. I try to drop my altitude a little bit. Now I will say this much: when I'm, one of the other ones that I was uh, missions I created was one that was uh, where I'm flying out to the carrier, and I had like two drop tanks or three drop tanks, and that does obscure some of your flight performance. Gives you a lot more drag, so. Uh, I'm going to have to do some testing and, and flying and practice doing that my, again too because that was kind of a pain in the butt. And I'm going to turn a little bit. Maintaining roughly around just under a thousand feet. I 
All right, let's try doing a turn. That one didn't do so well. At all. But it's still recoverable. I have to give myself a poor grade on that, but now this time we're going to come down and land. I'm a little high, but pretty good so far. Once you get lined up in that center, it's not so bad, but it's it's kind of tough getting into that. At least it is for me. Much more practice would be uh, definitely worthwhile. All right, we are in for landing. Speed breaks out. Can't see. That worked out pretty well. We'll turn in here. And we'll do some cleanup. Stow the Oh, got to pay attention to what you're doing. All right. Now it's kind of interesting, coming in here I have to pay attention. I want to line up center again. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this way. This 
like this, and then we're going to do a U-turn. Now that's another thing I got to practice. Lock the brakes. Let's tell the uh, turn off the right engine. Tell the ground crew to put chalks in. Chief, place the wheel chocks. Copy. Wheel chocks are now in place. Alright, let's turn everything off and... Call it a day. So, all I can say is uh, thank you all. For your uh, time and watching. And hopefully... You'll come back and check this thing, check me out again. I'm going to try to do some more DCS stuff. And... I'll take your comments and do what and probably learn from them if you have learning techniques for this cuz uh I have watched videos but it's all practice. Wow, that's still running. What the heck? I wonder if that's the reason why. If that was the reason why that's going to be stupid why I had that beeping. Eh, well, it very well could have been. All right. Shut everything down and we will uh guys later.